Hi guys, welcome back to our video again. On the last video, we talked about the KYT helmet doesn't come with an internal sunshade. So we try to source for a few options. Number one is to buy the transition visor provided by KYT, which is about what, $70, $80, which I felt that is relatively okay for that price point. But while we were exploring the idea, someone told us about photochromic flum and we decided to buy it and give it a shot. process itself wasn't very smooth sailing, so we brought the first one. Okay, this actually looks like a wrapping paper. It comes like that with a zip lock bag. And it costs about, what, under $5, if I remember correctly. So first off, when they deliver here, we know something is not right. This is just a basic flum. It's not photochromic. We will test it out later. So we reorder another more expensive one, which is finally here. It comes in a tube. Everything sealed is much, much, much smaller in terms of quantity. This is about 100 cm, and this is only A4 size. And this one costs about, I think, if I remember correctly, is about ten dollars double the price but it's definitely good enough to cover the whole visor so what we gotta do next is we gotta take this out and then to let you see what will happen to this film when it's under contact with uv rays okay so before we head out we gotta remove this visor from the helmet to clean it and then to apply on the film so from my understanding removing it is quite easy because it doesn't require any tools so you will see this and then all you need to do is uh, pull and take it out okay something like that okay done so we gotta clean this and then we gotta Alright, so we came outdoor and then uh, seems like a cloudy day. So we find a spot and wait for the sun to come out and try it out. And we also brought a white t-shirt to do a contrast of the before after. So first off, we set off the white t-shirt and then uh, we just put this here. Okay, this is not covered by any means. Okay, as you can see, if you take one power, this is not covered. So this is the current gradient of that flum. This is covered by a thin wrap as you can see so we gotta take it out. Uh, remove this thin wrap because all this will affect the UV ray. Okay so we have uh, laid them out and then we will see how. We also draw out half a tube of it so we can compare the contrast later on. So we just sit here and wait and see how it goes. Okay, seems like just now we are at a very bad spot because the building is actually overshadowing that area. So we move on here and then we will see how it goes. Okay, after three minutes now, okay, we were just uh, looking at this. So you see this one has no change to it at all. You can still see that it's pretty much very clear. Okay, we take it in the shape. So you can see that this has no change at all. This cheap one and this is the one okay you can see that it's darker here versus here okay the tone and here i would say by not much so we will just go ahead to apply this on our visor and then put it out onto the test again and do a time lapse and see how dark we can get and how long it will take all right let's go so we have used the protective film previously on the visor to mark out a template so we can use this and then mark it out and cut it out. Okay, so we tape off the side and then make sure that it's not moving and also tape off the bottom. Okay, it fits very well and then it doesn't affect the pin lock instruction here where you can follow how to apply but just spray a mist of water paste it and then squeeze out the bubbles okay i always have difficulty doing this peeling the film off so take some time here same thing we will apply 
need some water to do it. So when doing the adjustment, we will it slide over. And then you take something soft to squeeze it up. As you can see there, it's a little bit cloudy. So we gotta set it up here directly under the sun. So we observe uh, the changes. Here we go. purposes this is my transition lens I just put it at the side here and then we will see how it goes and match the color okay it seems like this is the darkest shade you can get and no change at all after some time it doesn't become darker we are install this back to our helmet and then and see how it goes so as you can see it's different it's purple rather than black on this photochromic film so during the day test basically it doesn't affect the vision of the visor the transition actually takes on at a very i think gradual pace that you cannot spot the difference if you're very used to transition lens that's nothing very new to you it will just slowly turn darker and in fact it's very comfortable especially on a hot sunny day we also realized that it actually helps to control the helmet internal temperature we don't feel that hot if we are riding towards where the sun is shining towards you generally we can say that it's a very pleasant experience it doesn't obstruct any of your riding or viewing experience i would say that we give it a two thumbs up this is generally as dark as it can go so I can see the difference between the sticker part and the non-sticker part. So we will also try this at night and see how it performs. And then we will do a conclusion on this solution, whether it's a good one and affordable way to go or better to just change a transition visor. So we just came back from the right. So this is how it looks from inside. So it's still perfectly okay. Okay, so we are here in an open area, so it's not very sunny right now, but it's still decent amount of light. So what we got to test here is once it becomes maximum darkness, I can tell this at its peak now, how it will look inside. Okay, so this is without visor, this is how it looks like. So this is how it looks. Okay, so you can see the difference of with and without so this is without okay with visor down also once we enter the shaded area the tin is still on but however you still can clearly see the feature so it doesn't pose that kind of danger that it becomes too dark that it blinds you so as you can see here that even if it's in the darkest mode you still can see what's going on outside so clearly it doesn't pose the danger of that it will blind you once you enter a tunnel or you exit out from a tunnel so as you can see it's already nightfall now so so we want to try out the photochromic film during the night the film doesn't really obstruct anything as well you basically see something slightly darker not to the extent that it's a deal breaker in Singapore context, this is perfectly okay because most of our streets are lighted with uh, ample of lights. 
it's not like in a situation where it's pitch black where every source of light is very important to the rider so i will conclude that this photochromic film is really a good way to go a cheaper alternative if you like diy and it can be replaced anytime or removed anytime if a authority stops you and say that this is no go all right guys thank you for watching this video see you on the next one bye bye